I think he likes everything I like. <laughs> you said in a previous interview that I heard that you maybe could, you wouldn't make, if Els wasn't in the game, you would probably make more dark music. Oh, exactly. Do you think that now maybe the, 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 your career has matured a little bit that some of this darkness sneaks into the music more than maybe in the first? Uh, Mm, yeah, I think if you compare this CD with the first one that we ever did, it's, it's maybe a little bit more dark, but it's still not very dark, no, I don't know. but it's maybe a little bit. No, I like it more dark, but hey, if the record is too dark, they don't want to promote it. The record labels or even radio stations, they cannot... Uh, I cannot turn it on the radio, so you have to think for oh yeah, it has to be a little bit uh, for the radio, um, radio friendly. commercial, yeah, exactly. Otherwise they drop you anyway and then you got no promotion for the album. So that's why you need some silly songs for the fucking silly radio. <laughs> <laughs> Censor that. <laughs> but do you have maybe then a collection of songs which is Absolutely in that vein that you will uh, maybe release under another name or... Uh... Yeah, maybe. In the future I think we're going, maybe we're going to try it once, I don't know. We can, yeah. because we have our own record label now, so we can, <laughs> we can record what we want. Well, we have our own record label, and, uh, we got distribution at BIOS of course. But uh, now we can uh, do very dark things. And, uh, I'm very happy things too. <laughs> yeah. She likes other kind of what I like. But yeah, <coughs> that would, what is you live and um, work together? What is the, the the parts of your taste, maybe in your taste, which is the most far away possible? What is a thing that you like and he absolutely dislikes? Uh, I think he likes everything I like. <laughs> no, um, I mean, uh, yeah, I think so. Is there something that I... I don't know. What? So, um, the first song on the album, The Tic Colibri, else was not in the mood for singing that day. And I said, so, so, well, you just talk on it. And it's okay, you know, and the song yeah. is finished. She's doing the blah, blah, blah. And it's finished. I prefer that as an alternative one. Yeah, okay. That song, no. It's not a song, it's a, I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a little bird. The <laughs> colibri. <laughs> but do you, uh, well, yeah, do you when sometimes the music is finished, when do you recognize when the vocals are done? When you, for you is uh, the song ready? To it's go something on? that you feel because uh, now I think we, we had three or four more songs, but they, we couldn't finish them. There was something missing, I don't know. So we threw them away, <clears throat> but all the rest, you, you can feel it at a certain moment that if you should touch it more, it would be, it would be bad. So um, that's something that it's just sort of an intuition, I guess. But uh, you said you, you, yeah, the albums appear in a spontaneous way. What for you maybe was beforehand the, the, the mood that you wanted to capture with this? Is that maybe something you communicate about beforehand or is that something that goes along the way? It just goes like that. No, we don't discuss on forehand. No, never. Because you, no? No. No. No, we wake up and we have an idea and we do it. So it's not that we think that we should, on forehand, that we should work in this direction or this one. So it could easily be that one of the songs on this record could also be on the previous uh, record, maybe? I think so. Well, the um, maybe is, not. Um, the, the album before, I had like, uh, 45 to 50 ideas for songs, and then we don't know what to choose anymore. And this time, I said for each idea we can make a song and we finish it quickly, and we put it on the album. That's the difference, because otherwise you got 50 ideas and you don't know what to choose anymore. Yeah.